This knife is the Silver Stag Elk Skinner, a small outdoor style fixed blade, D2 tool steel. Uh, blade length is about four and a quarter inches, but the actual edge length is three and a quarter inches. All right, little close up of the knife itself. You can see full tank construction. Very nice handle scales. Little bit of a slightly shallow hollow grind. Drop point tip. All right, let's uh, let's cut a few things with this, just to see it in action. Okay, that is um, three three ply natural jute. You can get that for well, I got it for a dollar at the dollar store. And sorry for any noise in the background. There's a barking dog. There's a leaf blower. Whatever. It's the suburbs. Deal with it. All right, and this just dealt with the jute cord very easily. Let's do two strands of the jute. Yeah, this thing definitely goes through this jute cord. I don't know, how many strands of this jute can we do? Probably an infinite number, but... The jute cord... Oh, oh, oh it got caught in that, that little part. Alright, there you go. Let's try some tougher stuff, some paracord. Uh, this is standard, you know, standard paracord. And it went through it, you know, very easily. Obviously, very sharp knife. Yeah, alright, no, no problem with, uh, no problem with paracord or other cordage. Well, hold on. I'm running out of paracord for all, from all the uh, <laughs> the other reviews I've been doing. All right, there you go. All right, so no problem with cordage. Screw you, you leaf leaf blower bastard. Push cutting into some wood. See how it goes. All right, and I'm sure you're thinking, but can it baton? I don't know if I would baton with a, you know, a real small knife, but. Hold on. Yes, it can baton. Can indeed. All right, and as far as uh, you know, the urban jungle usage, can it can it cut cardboard? Actually, the cardboard is very easy for it. Uh, you know, a lot better than uh, than some box cutters tape there uh, but yeah um, doing very well against the cardboard all right just you know making some basically wood shavings here let's see how the tip holds up And it held up very well. You know, there's no damage to that tip whatsoever. All right, you see it's making shavings right there. shavings like so all right is it uh how sharp is it after that 
All right, a little bit, you know, it's a little bit jagged, so not razor sharp, but, you know, not bad for the, uh, for not touching it up at all after that. Here's the Elk Skinner underneath my other silver stag. This is a silver stag uh, large Bowie knife. As you can see, silver stag, you know, it's all made in the USA. And they do very good work. Natural materials. It's a beautiful knife. And here's a size comparison on the left is the classic Pilot Survival Knife by Ontario. You see the Elk Skinner uh, noticeably shorter than that. To the right of the Elk Skinner is uh, the Gerber Freeman. That's the S30V Freeman. It's interesting. They have pretty much exactly the same blade length, but the Elk Skinner has a much shorter handle. All right, so that's where they're trying to save you some bulk. And to the far right, uh, SE Azula 2, you see the Elk Skinner uh, noticeably bigger than the classic Azula 2. Right, so that should give you a good idea of where this fits in in the size categories. It's a uh, small to medium outdoor fixed blade. Now as far as the sheath, I do not have the original sheath. I've actually had this knife for a while. I don't even know where the sheath went, but I've just been using uh, this extra sheath that I had. All right, so... I can't help you as far as uh, what sheath it originally comes with. Alright, so what's my final opinion on this Silver Stag? Uh, it's my second Silver Stag knife. I'm definitely impressed with the company. Uh, it arrived extremely sharp. It was very durable. Uh, with a little repolishing, you couldn't even really tell that it was beaten up and, and stabbed into wood and batoned through stuff. Uh, the handle material, natural and beautiful. Full tank construction, obviously desirable made in the USA uh, what's not to like I think it would be very handy they call it a Skinner you know it's really just a general purpose uh, outdoor medium small utility blade all right it's it's not only for skinning overall I just think it's a great little outdoor knife hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned for more I'm out